Why does back pain come back and how to prevent it? Back pain recurs when the stresses and strains on your back overcome your body's ability to deal with them. It's as simple as that really. Daily activities like bending, lifting and long periods of sitting with poor posture can put a strain on the spine uh, and it can normally cope with these sorts of things very well. Unfortunately, if there's an underlying issue which reduces your body's ability to manage these forces, then the back muscles, joints or discs can get irritated and start to hurt. Back pain often comes and goes. If you have a mild episode of back pain, it will often get better by itself, maybe over a few days or a week or two. Even though the pain may be gone, however, the underlying dysfunction which caused the problem in the first place may still be lurking. When this happens, a simple movement may strain something in the back and the pain flares up again. As each episode of back pain strikes, the more likely it is that you'll have another back attack. These episodes often get worse the longer the problem is unresolved and get more and more frequent and last for longer each time. Also, they can get more and more severe. So what can you do about it? Well, there are three things that help reduce recurrent back pain. Firstly, take regular exercise. This is a biggie. Staying active is the single most important thing you can do to prevent back pain from returning. Whilst back muscle or core exercises are very useful in the treatment of low back pain, no one particular exercise has been shown to be any better than any other when it comes to prevention. This means that any sort of regular moderate exercise can help. It's probably more important to do something you enjoy and it's easy to get to and keep at so that you keep doing it, especially if you're doing it with other people. That seems to help people uh, keep at it for longer. The other thing is watch your posture and movement. Well-known simple things make a big difference, like bending your knees when you bend and lift, not sitting at your desk or on the sofa for too long and making sure your normal back curve is maintained by putting a cushion in the small of your back when you're sitting down. Sometimes you'll need to avoid deep soft sofas altogether, but being aware of these things is often enough to improve your posture sufficiently to take the strain off your back. The next thing is get stiff spinal joints sorted out. Even though the low back pain may have gone, silent spinal joint dysfunction can persist. Improving the mobility of these joints has been shown to prevent future bouts of back pain. That's why we recommend a periodic checkup by one of our chiropractors every few months. If you're prone to recurring back pain, it can make a big difference uh, to have a periodic checkup and it will save time and money in the long run. The next thing, uh, stress. The, if you're stressed, the likelihood of another bout of back pain increases. Anxiety and depression have also been associated with persistent or recurrent low back pain. We've got a free mindfulness stress buster meditation to help aches and pains on our YouTube channel, along with other uh, exercise videos and things that you can do at home to help yourself. Thanks for watching.